Hi, this is Nikki Hendrickson. I'm here at Advanced Turf Solutions headquarters in Fishers, Indiana. And the other day, actually several weeks ago, I noticed that we had a pretty healthy population of hawthorn lace bugs on our service berries out here. There's one by the door that I go in every day that looks pretty clean, but the one on the farther side of the building over here is pretty infested. Lace bugs will basically they're sucking the juices out of the leaf. They'll feed, they'll feed on the chlorophyll, they'll take out the sugars, any of those nutrients in that leaf, they will suck out. They cause damage. Initially, it looks similar to spider mite damage. So we call that stippling, where they're feeding in individual cells and, and taking the juices out. Um, what it can do when the populations get bad enough, it can cause premature defoliation and discoloration of those leaves. In order to fix that problem, what I'll probably have to do next year is do a, a systemic, either early in the season, or we could do an imidacloprid application soil drench late this fall to stop the population from building. Okay, so these leaves, you can see quite a bit of damage here on top of that stippling, and it's kind of coalescing into a general modeling of that leaf. They like to hang out on the undersides and feed. So here on this leaf, we actually have an adult lace bug here. We have lace bug nymphs down here feeding. And this is all signs of feeding damage and excrement from those lace bugs. All right, so over here we have leaves that aren't quite as heavily infested. So this is what uh, earlier in the spring, uh, late spring, early summer, you would kind of come out and look for these little white spots that you see here on the leaves, and that's uh, signs of early infestation. And then if, when we flip these leaves over, you don't see quite as much damage on here um, yet.